Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless 2023 burning man in the black rock desert of nevada features the chapel of babel as pagans from all over come to worship their gods the book of revelation shows us that the religion during the tribulation will be new age paganism burning man 2023 rolled all that up in one neat little package this year, literally bringing the Bible to life with their chapel of Babel. The book of Genesis tells us there was a time when God had to intervene because society had reached the point where there was nothing mankind couldn't do, as we read in Genesis 11, 1 through 9. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech, and it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city, and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down, and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth. And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. The situation at Burning Man, the annual counterculture festival in the Black Rock Desert, about 100 miles north of Reno, Nevada. Yeah, but that desert has turned into an enormous sea of mud because of torrential rain. The site all but cut off from the outside world, and a death has now been confirmed. And just take a look. The social media images, they are just stunning. Comedian Chris Rock, seen after a five-mile walk to safety, eventually picked up by a fan. This is quite the emergency. Monsoon season in full swing this weekend, dumping heavy rain in the desert west, creating a muddy mess for festival goers as Burning Man in the northwest Nevada keeps people stranded, tens of thousands of them, in the middle of the desert without running water. Many hours of rain. This morning, a festival in a remote stretch of desert turns deadly as tens of thousands of people remain stranded at the Burning Man Festival in Nevada. Deputies saying the death happened during a torrential storm that led to flooding, forcing attendees of the Counterculture Arts Festival in the Black Rock Desert to shelter in place indefinitely. We might not be leaving here until Thursday because it takes usually a two, uh, two full days for the playa to dry off. Those stranded now being told to conserve food, water, and fuel. They shut the water down. I'm walking around helping pull power cables out of the ground. More than half an inch of rain estimated to have fallen on the desert festival. And more expected today, creating impassable muddy conditions, stopping festival goers from leaving, and making it difficult for first responders to access in the event of emergencies. This video posted on TikTok showing how difficult it is to get out. This Jeep now stuck in feet of cement like mud. The Washoe Sheriff posting on X, please avoid traveling to the area. You'll be turned around. All event access is closed. The thick mud making it difficult to even walk. I traveled this far, like half a mile. So I could go into these clean bathrooms right here. Check out my shoes. Dan Beckman is stuck at a camp with about 50 people. He says the heavy rain conditions have kept them from being able to move. We don't have porta potties. Ice will probably be low and all sorts of other supplies. And there are also some issues with getting medical attention to people. Most left with no choice but to rough it out. If it were the end of the world, this is a group of people I would bet on. You know, they can overcome any obstacle. It is soaking wet here at Burning Man. Look at this water. 
Hours after the rain came down in the Nevada desert this week, a flood of social media posts from festival goers at this year's Burning Man Festival, including from this Bay Area resident, searching for a silver lining. But over here is a double rainbow. Look at that, look at that, look at that. The pop-up community of Black Rock City hosts to more than 70,000 people each year during the nine-day event transformed into a muddy mess, prompting festival organizers to shut things down. Burning Man, Water Man, so much water. We are flooded. We're going to be stuck here at least a couple days. I believe God weighed in this weekend on America's Sodom and Gomorrah known as Burning Man. It seems the Lord launched a massive deluge of rain, which immediately halted the pagan sacrifices of burning idols in the groves of the desert. The God of the Bible, who inserts himself into the affairs of men, made his presence known this weekend. Do you think any one of them knew who sent the rain? Well, they should, seeing as God signed his handiwork with a stunning double rainbow. But over here is a double rainbow. Look at that, look at that, look at that. If it were the end of the world, this is a group of people I would bet on. You know, that can overcome any obstacle. If it were the end of the world, this is a group of people I would bet on. You know, that can overcome any obstacle. Daniel 12, 9 and 10. And he said, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many shall be purified, made white, and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Just as Daniel was told to shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end, the Apostle John was told, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Revelation 22, 10, and 11. And he said to me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He was filthy, let him be filthy still. He was righteous, let him be righteous still. He was holy, let him be holy still. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in him, and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God! What? Appearance occurs on a Sunday morning. My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready! Get ready!
Time is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.